So I was talking with someone in the Articulate Community Forums about how to simulate a pop-up box in an Articulate Presenter project or in a PowerPoint presentation. Here's an example of that. I've got a slide here and you can see that the slide is asking me to click on the penguin's wing to find out the answer to this question. And if I click on the wing, then the slide grays out a little bit and this pop-up box appears and gives me some more information. This is actually done with a couple of separate slides. You just have to think of your slides as layers in one interaction rather than separate slides in a presentation. So let's switch over to PowerPoint and I'll show you how this is done. Okay, so here's that first slide and you can design yours to look however you want, but in this example you can see I've got an image and I've got this text box right over here. And um, now, now that I've got this slide set up for my intro, I need to set up my pop-up slide. So basically, the pop-up slide is an exact duplicate of the original with a few additions. So let's come over here to the thumbnail and we're going to right-click the thumbnail and choose Duplicate Slide. That makes an exact copy. And from here, I'm going to use the Insert tab and use the Shapes drop-down to select the rectangle shape. And I'm going to draw a rectangle over top of my entire slide. This is going to make that grayed out effect. Right now it's blue. I don't want it to be blue, so I'm going to right click and choose Format Shape. And here I'm going to use the Colors drop down to select black, and then I'm going to use this transparency slider to make it about 45-46% and then click Close. So that looks about right. Okay, next I need to draw the pop-up box. So I'm going to use the Insert tab again and use the Shapes drop down. This time I'm going to use the rounded rectangle. I'll use that shape and just draw right over top of the penguin. And then you can um, enter whatever text you like in there. I'm going to go ahead and insert mine. And that looks a little bit small, so I'm going to use the Home tab here. I'm going to up the size to, oh, let's say 36. Whoops, did that work? I don't think it did, so we'll try, try it again. There we go. Now it's 36. You can also do some editing to the look of that box too. For example, I'll just click the Format tab. I'll apply one of these um, shape styles, and I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. I like this brighter blue a little bit better. Now from here, another thing that you might want to do is apply an entrance animation so that the pop-up appears to um, kind of fade in or pop up off of the slide. So I'm going to click my Animations tab, choose Custom Animation, and over here I can do all of my animations uh, effects. I'm going to choose Add Effect, and for my Entrance Effect I'm going to choose, in my case I like Faded Zoom. I think that looks pretty nice. And then I also want to change the start to uh, With Previous instead of On Click. This will make the animation happen as soon as the user arrives at this slide. Okay, so that's it for the pop-up slide. Now I need to go back to my initial slide and I'm going to apply a hyperlink over top of the penguin's wing because that's the area that the user needs to click. So I'll use the Insert tab and the Shapes drop down and I'm going to select the rectangle and draw a rectangle right over the penguin's wing. Now I don't want it to be blue, I want it to be transparent, so I'm going to right click, choose Format Shape, and here I'm going to up the transparency all the way to 100% so that it's invisible. And I also need to get rid of that line, so I'll use the Format tab, choose Shape Outline, and then select No Outline. So there's my shape, and now I need to apply that hyperlink. So I'm going to right click, choose Hyperlink, and from here I'm going to send the user to a place in this document, and it's going to be, in this case, Slide 2, because that's where my pop-up appears. And then I'll just click OK. So that's pretty much it. Now you can view the slide in PowerPoint or you can publish from um, your Articulate Presenter menu right up here. Choose the Articulate tab and then select Publish. And once you do that, it'll look a lot like this. So again, if I click the penguin's wing, then that pop-up appears just like I designed it. So that's it. That's how you can simulate a pop-up box in your PowerPoint presentation or your Articulate Presenter project.